Hello students, welcome back and today we are going to look at chapter 9 chemicals in industry what are the chemicals that we use so uh, we call it alloy which is a confusing word with metal and sometimes people confuse like metal, alloy, aluminium, steel and sometimes it's confusing because uh, when we talk about this chapter when we talk about metal it's different than what the uncle in Kopitiam talk about metal let's say for science people when we talk about metal we are usually referring to the periodic table inclusive of maybe magnesium or sodium which is the salt that sodium chloride the salt that people eat but we don't but people when they say metal usually it's the building one building metal so don't confuse Whenever we say metal in the science term, so when we say uh, metal, it is obviously different. We are talking about the science metal that we are referring to. And now we want to talk about alloy. And it's very different when people talk aluminium. When people talk aluminium in the Kopitiam, they are actually referring to alloy in science. When we talk about alloy, we are talking about mixture of metal which is inclusive of the aluminium that the uncle talked but when we talk about aluminium it's talking about periodic table aluminium right? because there's a periodic table in the aluminium but when the uncle and company talk aluminium it's usually the alloy so this is um, so don't confuse when we talk about alloy and metal because we are talking about science so i'm referring to the science context Aluminium means a element. It's not an alloy. In this class, in the Kopitiam, is different. Huh? When you talk aluminium, means it's aluminium. People use. Huh? And when we, I talk about alloy, is the aluminium they talk about. Okay. Anyway, what is alloy? Huh? Just to not to confuse you, it's just that you need you need to understand the different terminology, different word. Huh? Okay. Alloy. What in the science term alloy means? What alloy means? A mixture of metal and non-metal for example steel pewter bronze brass and duralumin means we want to mix the metal because we already learned product table got aluminium we learned the product table got iron got carbon got tin got copper got antimony got copper got tin got zinc got aluminium that is why when we talk about aluminium in science, we are referring to the element copper, magnesium, manganese. Okay, these are all the element that we learn. Okay, let's put here element element that we use. So, why after we mix, we will get let's say we mix it like 99 percent one percent 96 three percent of course total add up we will get 100 percent and why we want to make it alloy let's say we use this the money it's a type of alloy and why we want to make it alloy because it is stronger Wait, uh, let me find the the characteristic of alloy do you have a characteristic of alloy Ah, where is it? Lah? The characteristic of alloy. So, usually alloy is stronger, is more resistant to rust. Why is alloy product? Generally, most metal are pure and soft, correctly. It's not possible for them performing alloy. Um, why I cannot find the characteristic of alloy? Hmm. Okay, so alloy usually will be stronger. Stronger and maybe I will say more resistant. Resistant towards corrosion. Pohe sensu or bijan nan sensu, correct or not? So we can see that you use money. If your money you usually it won't corrode, huh? Pohe sensu or usu sen, anti sen, ten sen, five sen. Usually it won't corrode. 
Um, can you make it correct? I'm not sure, maybe can you know? If you put in water for very long, uh, maybe you can try put in the water for... Maybe you can do experiment, take it and put in the aquarium for two years. I think maybe it will still become um, rust. I'm not sure, lah, but maybe you can try. Lah. You can do your own experiment, put in your aquarium for two years. See whether the money will become black color or not. But it depends on which alloy. Let's say, let's say my watch. Eh, I don't have my watch. My watch is in my room. My watch is a uh, usually watch is made of stainless steel, so stainless steel is also an alloy. Usually it won't rust. So if I put my watch in the aquarium, I think it will become dirty, but it won't rust. Or uh, if I put gold, gold is even better. Gold, you know that it usually won't rust. Okay, so we have why we want to make alloy because it's stronger, more resistant to rust. For example, steel, steel, what you want to do is 99% iron, 1% carbon is hard and strong to make the building and material, like the bridge. Lah, huh? You see the bridge, what they do, the, the big, big bridge, the thing, the metal, temporarily, the big metal is usually steel, okay, to make frame or railway track. So, of course, it's 99%, 1%. They, they, they do experiment, okay. They do 98, 2%, 97, 3%, 94%, 6%. They already do. And the best they get is 99 and 1. So this is the strongest that they already calculate. So that's why they do like that. To make the steel hard and strong. Filter, 96% thin. This one also you need to memorize. Huh? Copper, 3% thin money. is more reason to correct to make, for example, photo frame. Bronze is the first place you know, right? First place is usually gold medal. Second place is the silver. Third place is bronze. Okay, so you can see that if you go Olympic, you win. You get a bronze. So bronze, you get copper 88%, tin 12%. Hard resistant and it has an attractive color. That's why they use it to make coin and medal because it is beautiful and resistant to rust and is very hard okay i got tried before and bend it but i cannot bend it because it is very hard but if you can bend it means it's not bronze size it's a fake one nah. it's a plastic one if you get the real one you you try to use your hand to bend it you won't bend it brass 75 percent you remember zinc 35 percent Shiny usually used to make music instrument like the poo -poo 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 -poo, the brass, okay? Duralumin usually we use it to make a plane because it is very light, strong, okay? Something like usually duralumin or one more is titanium, okay? Very strong and light, so it will be make aeroplane. Now you cannot use steel to make airplane. If you still to make airplane, then the airplane become very heavy, so it cannot fly. You want to make something that is very light and strong, so that it can fly. So this one you need to remember. So why you want, how can this thing happen? Why I want to mix it, then it becomes stronger. Why I want to mix it? First, if I don't mix it, you can see the layer atom slide easily, like this slide. Take out, slide very easy. So you put something to block it. For example, this is the foreign atom like, let's say if the person asked me to label, let's say this is steel. Steel, so I will label this as carbon. And this I will label as, eh, carbon and what lah, wait lah. Carbon and iron. So we are talking about the element iron. Again, not to be confused with the uncle sit at the copidium say iron. When the uncle at the copidium say iron means it's mean matter. When you say matter means element. But in science, when we are talking about iron and carbon, we are referring to the element in the periodic table. So you just need to use, let's say, lah, let the question ask, 99% of iron, 1% of carbon. Then you will get the equal to steel to make the 
bridge for example so when you put the foreign atom they say the question asks why why it will become stronger it becomes stronger because the pure metal atom metal have difficult to slide one another this slide easily so the metal very easy to spoil let's say this is the normal iron i can like take like this and bend it but once i put the carbon i i cannot bend it okay? so that is the difference between alloy and pure metal okay so alloy versus pure metal of course we don't want pure metal lah. we want alloy okay well alloy is stronger but there is pro and cons lah. the con is more expensive lah. that's why you see on the airplane is more expensive it's not cheap to make duralumin it's not cheap to make bronze i think steel is a bit cheaper i mean if you compare to other metal steel is cheaper bronze brass pewter is more expensive that is why when you sit in the airplane or you want to buy the bronze it's more expensive mm -hmm. okay so you need to uh, so what you need to know why and you need to memorize the percentage and the use this one you need to remember so i just put here first remember in case your exam come out remember just um remember a bit lah huh? okay this experiment i scared the exam will ask uh what the exam asks is i don't know lah that what the exam asks you use the manipulated variable the responding variable the hypothesis or how you want to do the experiment so on so let's the question can ask you what usually they will ask this one lah, huh? what is the variable and the procedure anything they can ask and they can even ask you to calculate the result but because they got so many things to ask it's difficult for me to teach like what they're going to ask but i'm going to teach the story the concept so when they ask you know how to tell the story okay because i i just want to tell you the concept and then i very difficult but i try my best lah. okay M, you now we want to test alloy is harder than pure metal okay so this is the hypothesis alloy is stronger than a metal problem statement alloy is harder harder than the pure metal so i put the hypothesis alloy is harder than pure metal hypothesis means you haven't test it so you are not sure you are not sure whether is it true or not true okay hypothesis is heaven test you don't know it's true or not because you say alloy is harder than metal how you know how you know because the book say so but you haven't do the experiment you, if you want to say something but, but when you read from book it's actually the second source means it's not so accurate because you you read from other people so you don't know whether the person is i mean it's still valid because book is still valid but the most true one sometimes is how the person get the first information like doing the experiment so you want to know that alloy is harder than pure metal you want to do an experiment so the thing that manipulate you want to change is the metal block so maybe one i put of course a i put alloy let's say like i use uh, i use steel or bronze whatever lah, huh? let's say i use steel pewter bronze anything lah, huh? i use let's say i use bronze b i use um, not alloy no alloy let's say i use use what leh? here got say or not copper okay use copper i use bronze and copper of course here is bronze is the wait wow so lucky one i use bronze so they use bronze i thought they are using of course you don't need to use bronze now you can use uh you can use duralumin and you can use steel up to you okay so it can be a few alloy 
So the responding variable will be the diameter. So what when when I talk about this experiment, I need to think in my mind how I want to do this experiment. Okay, I want to test alloy harder or not. So what I need to do is um I use an alloy and I drop it down and I see how big the hole. If the hole bigger means the alloy is stronger. If the hole small means alloy is not strong or maybe the dent the alloy bent ya chi liao chang na alloy not strong and then i take the b ball which is the just the pure metal pure metal maybe i just say i take copper copper or aluminium aluminium element copper element or um i any metal lah the element and i try to drop it on the ground see the hole is big or not so if the hole is big then i know the thing is stronger if i see the hole is small then the thing not that strong okay so now i know it so that is why the thing i want to change is the type of material because this is the thing that i want to the change that i don't want to change is the hole how big the hole is if the hole is big then it's strong if the hole is small then it's not strong So, rest constant maybe the height or the weight. Correct or not? If I want to put the two ball drop, it must be the same height. I cannot put one high, one low. Then two drop. Then the experiment is not fair. Then people say, "Hey, you simply say one. You do also. You don't do properly. No, we want to do properly. So okay, I use that. I you see ah, you see me ah. Ah, this is the alloy. This is the metal ah." No different ah, same place I drop. These two thing also same big ah. That's why here say the mass is the same. Same ah, not this heavy, this light ah. It's the same ah. I already count ah. Ah, then I put in ah. So you see which hole is bigger, which is bigger than it will be stronger. Okay. So you use one kg. Okay. You want to use the ruler to make sure that it is one, or maybe you want to make sure the size. You don't make one. Sharp, sharp, one round, round. Then test what, oh, correct or not? This one sharp, of course, go in will be a small hole, but deep. This one so big, of course, it will be a round, round thing. So if you want to use round, then two is round. If you want to use square, then both is square. If you want to use sharp, then both is sharp. Ah, you don't use different. Then what you want to measure? You cannot measure because there are too many variable. So now make everything same. You want to make everything fair. Then we want to try to do the experiment. So okay, then we talk. Okay, one. Okay, Ali want to take the thing, put in the one meter. Then he will drop in on the plastic tin with the cellophane tape on the copper block. Next, he will take the metal again. Then he change the copper block with the copper block change with the bronze. Then he drop the metal and see what is the diameter. Oh, so this one is not he drop lah. Huh? He put the bronze at down there and take something to hit it. See whether the hole is big or the hole is small. And then step two and three, we spray and we do it change with other thing and so on. This one you you think by yourself lah. Huh? You no need to memorize. You just remember the picture. If you remember the picture, you talk, 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 talk. You you will able to make the procedure. Okay, then you get the diameter one, two, three, average diameter. Uh, then you get the answer. So of course this is copper, this is bronze. Let's try to do this. I agak agak lah because we know that which is stronger. We already know that bronze is stronger. So the dent will be smaller. So maybe here I put two cm, two cm. Two point two, this one two point one, because copper is, ah, uh, 比较没有力嘛 weaker, so the hole will be bigger. So I put here maybe ah three point one. This one is three point zero. This one is three point one. So you get the average. So you use your calculator lah. Three point one plus three point one plus three point one, you get something. Two point one plus two point two plus two, you get two point one. So here be two point one. Here will be around three point three point what? Three point seven five is it? I don't know lah, ha. Something like that lah, ha. Okay. So so from the experiment, we know that bronze is stronger. Hmm. 
Bronze is stronger because the hole is smaller. So it's bronze is stronger. Copper is not strong as compared to bronze. So the hypothesis is accepted where alloy is stronger. So now I already proved to you. Now I give you the conclusion. That's why here got another conclusion. Okay, did them write? Okay. Conclusion is what's the conclusion? Conclusion is I copy back the hypothesis. That's why they always say conclusion copy back that but alloy is harder than pure metal. Alloy is harder than pure metal. Okay or not? So this is how you want to do the experiment. Okay, so basically that is the way you do the experiment. Uh, the most important thing is understand the concept. What is the hypothesis? How you want to test? Like when people ask you, you need to explain, you know, like even you don't know, you must roughly say that, okay, I want to test. Let's say I want to say uh, is um, test something lah. because we are studying science. Lah. We need to able to design experiment. Let's say I ask a uh, plant need to live by water. Then you say plant in water, I take plant A, plant B, one got water, one dead water, one plant will die. Then you just say the story, like, okay, put A and B, put the plant and so on. Let's say I say, um, let's say the animal need oxygen to breathe. So you need to say, okay, I use uh, whatever like, you want to use. You want to use grasshopper, you want to use rat, you want to use cockroach, you want to use cacing, up to you. Like. But as long as it's got A cacing, B cacing, then then you one you give oxygen one you don't give you close it then the dye then roughly you need to know the experiment but you don't say that one you use charging one you use tikus then then how you want to test see or not that's why the question asks you what is the constant variable the constant variable is both is charging both is tikus both is cockroach okay then it is then you can know the living thing need oxygen so same ah. so you need to understand the experiment and it's very difficult to teach because so many experiments but the concept must be right you need to get the concept okay if i want to test something what is the thing manipulate variable i want to change and then the responding variable what i what is the result and then you do think in your brain then what is the constant then you need to think in your brain what is the procedure what are the procedure you just tell the story like i put a and b usually it's a and b and c right and then and and, and so on and the conclusion is uh, roughly you will know um yeah so that is why i don't want to teach this experiment because it is so many things i will tell back the same story again and it's a long story to tell same lah huh? this one he want to test alloy is more resistant so you use one is iron and you use one alloy is steel up to you if you want to make it more powerful you put in bronze then you put in here a here b then C is broad, D is duralumin. Let's say I got hypothesis. I say that bronze is stronger than duralumin. Ah, I say this one is more stronger than this. Eh, same lah. Huh? So use one A, one B. Then you tell the story. Okay, the thing that you want to change. Blah, 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 blah. Then in your mind, you must do the data. You must make a table. Up to you again. If you do A, B, C, D, usually it's a table. Sometimes it's a bar chart. Sometimes it's a line chart. This one you study in mathematics already. Eh? If you are talking about height, weight, maybe you want to use a linear one, you want to use a line chart, whether or not, like how heavy, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 kg. But this one is category, category experiment in terms of metal, uh, duralumin, bronze, and let's say steel. So I want to use a table. I don't want to use a line chart. How to do line chart, lor, huh? correct or not? This one is bronze. Bronze is one. Ah. Why? How can bronze be one and then steel is two? One, two, three, four. Cannot, right? Because there is no fair comparison. Like male and female, you need to use a table form. Or some more got what? Something you want to use table because this thing you cannot put as one, two, three, four, five. If you can put as one, two, three, four, five, then you use a line chart. Maybe, for example, like weight. Like height. Like... Uh, distance uh, this one you want to do a line chart if not like the coupel uh, the share market if not you need to do maybe a bar chart because this is a this is b this is c this is d like a blood group yeah uh, then then it, it makes sense 
then you get the conclusion. So I won't, I won't tell the story again because I hope that you can understand and maybe the homework, when you are free, you eat later, you think of maybe one experiment that you want to do. Let's say you want to say that, you just think for fun lah, so that at least some homework for you ah, so that you understand. Maybe you think of how to make an experiment by yourself. Choose something that you like, then you want to do experiment. Let's say you want to do experiment that uh, blue uh, guy like to like uh, like uh, like guy like blue. Let's say lah, uh, more guy like blue than other color. So you think like okay, maybe I go to my school, I ask all the guy and see how what color they like, and then the most color will be the blue because it's your hypothesis. Uh, if not, then no, uh, and then or you can say most girl like pink color. Do experiment uh, then you you do a survey or maybe you say that the chair, um, people like to really sit on gaming chair or wooden chair. Also, you can do the experiment. Many experiments you can do up to you. Uh. So you think then, okay, what is your manipulator? Then you do your experiment, then you will get what is correct. Okay, then this is how you do an experiment. Why you want to do experiment? Because it's a science class. We want to get information. Uh, if, if not, then we don't need to make textbook already. All the textbook is from experiment. Not we say for fun because it's a science class. We want to measure it properly, write it properly, so that uh, it, it will contribute the data and knowledge to the future generation. Okay, so that's it for today's class. If no question, I end the class by today, okay? Okay? Okay, okay. Okay, thank you and bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye.